Hello everybody! I hope you are having a great day or great evening wherever you are watching. Um, today I want to show you guys how you can easily make your own collage paper or decoupage paper. All you need is white tissue paper and a printer and of course some images you want to print. So for those of you, maybe there's a few out there that don't know what decoupage is. Um, decoupage, as I know it, is where you, for example, use a napkin, because napkins usually come with really pretty images, and you split the layers. Most napkins come with three plies or three um, napkin yeah, layers, sorry. <laughs> and um, so you just take the very top layer that has the image on it and then you usually use Mod Podge let's see um, or any collage medium this one is gloss and you uh, take a paintbrush and then you just let's say I wanted to collage uh, let's see what do I have of course I don't have an example now um, just regular paper. So you would just put the Mod Podge or the glue on it and then you put the piece of napkin that you want to glue or attach to it and then you brush the Mod Podge or whatever medium you use on top of it so it's sealed and it's stuck on, on your project. I think you can do it on like a wooden piece of wood, wooden boxes, cardboard boxes, pretty much on anything depending on what kind of glue you use. Um, so you can use napkins, uh, you can use tissue paper, I thought this one was nice, I got this uh, with, some, with some mail, um, it's fairly thin, and you can also use rice paper. Up until a few months ago I didn't know what rice paper was. What did I do with my sample? So this is actually a piece of rice paper, and it's kind of hard to tear not as fragile as tissue paper or napkins and um, these are all from Stamperia let's see this is like a big one with plants I love this one and as you can see I have not used any of those because <laughs> once again I buy pretty stuff and then I'm afraid to use it so yeah these are pretty much uh, the same so you can use those cut them out tear them out like pieces and then just glue them on anything so i have used some tissue paper oh, let me put this away on a few tags that i've never finished so you can see um and it has a really nice texture and what i used for these i just used my glue stick i didn't use the mod podge and i did not seal it with mod podge on the top because i didn't want any coat like top layer coat um, so yeah, that's that's a nice way to use them. And then other decoupage papers are the um, collage papers from Tim Holtz. And I can show you some tags I've made with those. Let's see if you can find those ones that I was going to show you. Oh, here we are. Nope. Where did you go, birdies? Oh yeah, here we go. So, for example, these ones. Um, this is the collage paper. Very beautiful, and it's a little bit see-through. And I love, I love using that that stuff. And we also have by Tim Holtz um, the. Where is it? Uh, Oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> Tissue wrap. Um, it's also thin, but not as thin as um, the regular tissue paper. And you can use it to collage, and you can see a little bit through. So you can see the green of the mat through the paper. So yeah, these are different, um, different kinds you can use for collaging or decoupage. So... But what do you do if you have, uh, if you don't have the images or the patterns that you would like to use, but um, you have them like 
let's say you buy a digi kit on on etsy and would love to collage with that or decoupage with that so what i uh figured out is you can just print them on tissue paper so this is an image that i bought on etsy and i printed on tissue paper and now i can just um collage it on one of my tags you can see through a little bit and i think it looks beautiful so i have a couple of tags here that i made for my mushroom junk journal and i printed out the mushrooms on tissue paper and and mod podged them on top of a book page and i love that you can see the image but you can also see through the image and get the book page oops this way um so i want to show you how to do this First, let me get all these things out of the way. Okay, so what you need, like I said, is just regular tissue paper. And you can get this at like at Walmart or uh, maybe Dollar Tree has them, Dollar General. I got two packs of this for like 50 cents at an estate sale. Of course, I get almost everything at an estate sale. But I, when I saw it, I, I bought it because you can always use tissue paper, whether it's for gift wrapping, you stuff them in gift bags, or for crafting. So, um, I printed this one a long time ago, and then there was like another image where I cut a piece out. And then I tried some Stemperia. Obviously, I'm not allowed to... Uh, sell this or like this was just a test because i wanted to see what the colors looked like um because of copyright so i'm gonna throw this out only use images or only print images and use them that you have permission to use because you don't want to infringe any copyright and it's a good reminder to tell people that not everything you find on google is free i have to deal with this all the time because I'm a web designer and people use our images all the time, but they're not like, supposed to. And I actually, uh, I had a uh, one of my websites, I had my photography on it. And a long time ago, I you can actually Google your own images. You can search if you have images or photos on the internet, on your website. You can do an image search for your own images and then you find websites that you that secretly use your stuff and yeah i found a town i think they were in maine they used my photo without my permission and they didn't even bother to cut off the copyright in the bottom so i didn't i didn't say anything because technically i could sue them and get money but i'm not i am not a jerk <laughs> but there are people out there that take their copyright very seriously and um yeah you don't want to get in trouble with the copyright law okay so sorry about that let's go back to printing images so your best bet is to purchase images uh that give you permission to uh use them especially if you make junk journals that you want to sell you don't want to just grab whatever you find online and use it because that's a big no-no um okay so because this tissue paper is way too thin to like put into your printer um, what i do i have this thin piece of cardstock or thick paper it's craft paper and what i do is i tape this onto my paper but first i'm gonna cut out um, what i need Let's see. And I have a an image. It's the whole um, size of a letter sized paper that I bought on Etsy, and I want to print it because it has nice. Um, it's a nice pattern, and I want to use it for collaging on my tags or journaling cards. I have to make a few journaling cards. So usually the tissue paper has two uh, uh, feels differently on both sides and two on each side. So this one is the more shiny, shiny one, and it's like more slick. I don't know what you call it. 
this other side is a little more rough and that's why you want to print because if you print on this it might um, not grab the your ink from your inkjet uh, i don't know how this works with the laser printer you if you have a laser printer you can try it i only have an inkjet um, and it's worked pretty well i thought this one turned out really nice so that's the side i i print it on but you can still see it on the other side um, because it's transparent or see-through so what i do and with this one with this um, way i do it i cannot print borderless because i'm gonna put some tape on each side to if i can find my tape uh oh uh oh what happened to my tape um great no i don't know where my tape is i guess i'll just use washi um yeah so because I use tape on the edges, I cannot print all the way to the edge. It was different when I print on vellum because with vellum I could just use a little bit of my tape runner on the back and then peel it off later. But I don't want to rip this paper. So I would just put a little bit up here. Am I having a frame? Yes. Oops. Like so. Tape it down. Uh oh, that didn't really work. And then same over here. And you just want to make sure that it's um, adhere adhered well to your page because you don't want the printer to like tear it. So I might have to put some on the corner as well. It's been a while since I last did this, so I I don't remember how much tape I used last time. But um, we'll find out, I guess. So for this side, I'm going to flip this over. And this will actually be the, the side that gets pulled into the printer because I don't want this to like tear. But here it doesn't because it's flipped over the page, it's harder to tear. And then same over here, I'm just gonna trim this over uh, off a little bit. Okay. All right, so now I can print on the entire page. And I will do this real quick, and then I'll come back when it's printed. All right, so this just came out of my printer, and I love it. It's beautiful. And now I'm going to peel this off real careful. And if you hear a fan in the background, it's my, my laptop. I'm uploading a video. <laughs> Sometimes the fan comes on. Okay, it's such a beautiful day out. I love winter days when it's sunny and blue skies and cold and um, snow on the ground. Oops, ah! Well, it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to use the whole sheet. But yeah, so this is how you print on um, tissue paper. And now I can actually make a journaling card with it let's see i just cut while i was printing and i'm gonna save this i always use this one for my um, tissue paper printing so i just uh, cut some leftover vanilla folder ca uh, cardstock to four by six uh, cards this looks like it looks a little longer let's see let's trim this little edge up off oops that didn't work Well, that didn't work either. What happened? Oops. Scissors. Okay. And I'm going to make these two journaling cards from my Tim Holtz journals. Even though this is not Tim Holtz, but it reminds me of Tim Holtz. It's similar. So you could just put this on here, but I'm going to put something else. I'm going to put book pages under it. Uh, from my poem book, since I already have it handy. Um, let's take this one. Does this fit? Oh, 
Oh, it was two pages. <laughs> Lovely, that's the perfect size. Okay. Stick some. First, I want to see what it looks like. This is behind it. That works. So if you wanted to have the shiny side of the paper um, up, you would have to mirror your image before you print it. Because if you print on this page, on this side, you read like it, it, it's the correct way. But if I would turn it around, especially when it has text on it, it's um, the wrong way. Because you see it the back, from the back. So I should have thought of that if I wanted to do it on like with the shiny side up but I'm just gonna use this side up as a little rough side up okay let's stick the card on here I feel like I'm going through this glue really fast good thing I got a pack of four okay And then I want to center this so it's centered on the other side. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Number one. Hey, stick to the paper. And number two. I love printing on um, tissue paper when I uh, like I like using uh, flower images because or any nice patterns because you can always layer that over a, an old book page I think and I love flowers so if you find nice patterns or pattern papers on Etsy like digital files that's one thing you can print okay so I'm gonna cut those out, Keep warping a little bit because we have glue on one side and not the other. And number two. Come on. <laughs> Always stuck. I'm having so much fun making ephemera for my um, Tim Holtz journal. <clears throat> okay, now I'm just going to stick this over here and then this over here and then I'm going to put something else on there. And um, I'm going to just use my glue stick because it's not as wet as Mod Podge or the wet glue. You want to make sure that you stick it down really well. Oops. Alrighty. And then I'll use my bone folder. Oh no, I already ripped it because my bone folder was sticky, but you can fix it. See, it's like nothing happened. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to be using my bone folder. So it's really fragile 
until it's stuck on the paper. And then I'm going to stick this one on there too. The other day I went to the Christmas tree shop. I don't know if it's like a New England thing or a Maine thing. It's a shop that has all kinds of decorations like and food and all kinds of things. And um, they always have really nice napkins, but they always come like in a pack of 50. But what do I want to do? With, what do I do with 50 of the same napkin? So the other day I went in because I was looking for snowman stuff on my snowman journals. And they had a sale of like fall or Thanksgiving stuff. And it was like 70% off. And I bought a pack of beautiful fall like pumpkin napkins. And what the original price was a dollar, so I, I bought it for 30 cents. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I can resist for 30 cents. I have to I have to take it. Okay, where wanna put this? I'm gonna put it down here. So yeah. 50 uh, beautiful napkins for uh, 32 cents. And I will use those in my uh, fall fall crafts next. Yeah, I was gonna say next year. This fall, this year. Okay. Ugh, don't glue on that. Okay, I love it. Okay, now we're gonna cut this carefully. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut through here so I don't accidentally tear them. <clears throat> yes, I'm still filming. Always have to double check because sometimes <clears throat> it just stops. I guess when I get a phone call, it stops. And because my phone is on silent, I don't hear my phone calls. So I don't know what's, what's going on. Number one. Ugh. I gotta wash my hands. I'm sticky and still have the um, distress ink on my fingers. <clears throat> um, when I went to the antique mall in our town earlier, um, I saw a few nice, nice, um, magazines, like old stuff. I think, I think collectors like those, um, but I would just cut them up. But I think people would cringe if they knew that I would just cut up this, uh, antique stuff. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't buy any of those. Alrighty. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna throw this away. Close my glue, get all the sticky stuff off my fingers. So here we go, we have two journaling cards and I can put something on top, but first I'm gonna um, trim those corners or round those corners. That didn't work. Better. Okay. And we can also stress the edges a little bit. And then I'm probably just going to put 
um, coffee dyed paper on the back for writing because I don't like leaving it like this. I always um, put paper on the back of my tags as well. I f feel like it gives the, uh, the card or the tag a more finished look and feel. But I guess it's personal preference. I like going the extra mile. I'm very detail oriented. Uh, might be because of my job. I work with pixels on the computer screen so I can tell if there is something like on my website if something is off by a pixel <laughs> and I cannot let it go until it's right. Okay, what do I want to put on here? I can put birds on there. Do want birds? Since I'm already using tissue paper, maybe I can use tissue birds. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think the style. Oops. I don't think they have the same, same style. Oh, but I could maybe put some mushrooms on there. Do I want mushrooms? I have this lovely mushroom book that I haven't used in a long time. But then I could use those for my mushroom journal. But I'm using, I'm, I'm making something for my Tim Holtz journal. So maybe not mushrooms. They're all yellow. Why are they all yellow? Or orange? Holy smokes. Hmm. No. Maybe not mushrooms. I love this book. Okay, no mushrooms. What else do I have that I could put on there? Let me go dig, dig in my stash and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I looked everywhere, but I couldn't really find anything that I liked. So I decided I would just cut these two images out of some Tim Holtz paper. And when I put them on here to see if they if I like it. I remember that I had printed these little tags from a digital kit from Etsy and I was like wait a minute I can make a pocket. So I'm going to turn these two images into pockets so I can slide these little uh, tags in there. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do I'm going to um, round that corner down here so it like lines up with this edge. Same with this one. Oops. Yeah, that works. And then these ones, I'm going to back I'm going to back on some uh, craft paper and then I'm going to put line paper on it because they're really flimsy because they're just printed on regular copy paper. So which ones do I like? I think I like this one. And I like Do I have any others? Oh, there's one more. Oh, I think <clears throat> they're actually from the same collection as the the paper that I printed on my tissue paper. I think I like this one and I can put a little label on it. Okay, so I'm going to use these guys. <clears throat> Perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to distress the edges of those. I think what I'm going to try to do with my Tim Holtz journals is um, I'm going to make them very interactive. So lots of flips, lots of little tags and hidden hidden pockets and stuff. So the new owners can like go on a treasure hunt when they, when they get the journal and they can uh, find lots of little hidden compartments. And then I'm going to put this on here. Oh, now I'm excited. <laughs> so what are you guys crafting on today? Are you crafting? Are you crafting while you're watching the video? Or <clears throat> when do you usually watch the videos? Do you watch them during the day or in the evening or in the morning? Most of the time I watch my videos 
well depends on the time on the if it's a work day but um i usually watch them when i eat breakfast uh or when i go before i go to bed or when i'm crafting i just turn them on and put my phone right here and then i'll just have it on in the background depending on what video it is sometimes i just need like some background noise <laughs> okay this is not straight okay let's glue those on and like i said this is just some craft cardstock i actually punched uh, tabs out of this one for some journal i guess <laughs> wrinkles in this paper so this uh, tutorial on how to print on on tissue paper kind of turned into a craft with me video but if you're not interested in this I mean you can turn off the video you probably already have <laughs> if you're not interested in this um, what I'm doing right now but I also always like to show how I use the things that I create or like the paper that I printed the tissue paper I want to show you how you can use it um, okay almost lunch time I don't even know what I want to eat for lunch Chips. I kind of don't want to eat lunch because I want to craft at some point I have to eat otherwise I'm gonna pass out here I've never passed out but sometimes I feel like I'm passing out if I'm too hungry uh, come on and now I'm gonna punch a hole through these. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use hole enforcers because I don't know. Or maybe I'll just leave it like this. Or should I put a little tab on there? Like a a ribbon, I mean, not a tab. Oh, I cut crooked. Oh, come on, go in there. Okay. So very cute. And now I need lined paper. Oh, that's the other one. Ooh, perfect. So these little tags are great if you want to use up little um, pieces of leftover paper. Why do I keep shaking my glue? It's not a glue bottle. <laughs> oh my word. Weird habits. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. And then this one. I like using these little tags um, in my the journal that I sometimes write in um, for like quotes or any like sayings because there's not a lot of room on those tags so there's not really I don't know what else I would use them to write on but I love 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 quotes so yes um, that's what I use them for very good okay There's like this glue stringy thing f floating around. That's funny. It's like a spider web, but made from glue. Although spider webs are sticky too, so maybe it's for my glue. It's a glue spider. Oh yeah, remember the the spider that visited me twice in my previous video? Um, I was thinking what I could name it. I haven't seen it since, but. 
I was thinking maybe I'll call it, I name it tacky. <laughs> tacky or sticky. Even though it's not really sticky or tacky, I haven't touched it, but I thought that's a cute name for a spider that lives in a craft room. Um, I guess we can, we can vote on it. Do you want me to name it tacky or sticky? It's a little fat. Okay, I didn't realize that my phone battery was dead and I kept crafting and crafting and then I saw that my phone was not recording anymore. <laughs> So yeah, I was talking about the spider and I was gonna say it's a fat little black spider. Let me know if I should call it na uh, tacky or sticky. Okay, I got these tags uh, cut out and backed with coffee dyed paper and I also distressed the edges. Um, and now I'm trying to figure out what I wanna put on it. I have this little mushroom that I like, so I might put the mushroom on this one. Something else for this one. Maybe not a mushroom, maybe a flower. I'm not a big fan of those Tim Holtz flowers, I gotta say. I don't know why, I just don't... Oop, maybe this one. Nope, ah, I thought it was bigger. Um, no, they just... They're so... Uh, what do you call them? Not very colorful. So I find them a little boring. Tickets, new, new, new. Hmm. Well, shucks. Am I recording? Yes. <sighs> Butterfly? No. I guess I can use this flower. Better than nothing, and I never use those tiny tiny flowers anyway, so, but I'm going to put some um, wax paper under it. Ugh. From my wax paper bag. And let's see, just need like a little tiny bit. Okay, do I like this? Yes, I do. I'm just gonna go with it. Yeah, so I was just talking about the spider and then I was talking about um, the animals that we have in our backyard and we always name them. Uh, we have a hummingbird that uh, always comes back to our feeder and the reason we know it's always the same bird is because he shows up the location where we have the feeder without the feeder being there. Am I filming? Yes, now I'm paranoid. <laughs> um, so he knows he knows where the feeder usually is. And um, once he shows up and waits outside, uh, we see, through, see him through the window and then we go and put the feeder out. Uh, we call him Wilbur. He's adorable. And his girlfriend... First, we thought it was his wife, but uh, then we learned that um, hummingbirds don't meet for life. So I guess every year he has a new new girlfriend. So we always call the girlfriend um, Wilhelmina. So it could be Wilhelmina the fourth or the fifth. I don't know. And hummingbirds don't even live that long. So who knows? Uh, yeah. So Wilhelmina. And then we have a little garter snake that lives in our... Um, shed and in our canoe the canoe is next to the shed lean it's lean it leans against the shed and um the garter snake's name is norman uh, sometimes my husband and norman startle each other when my husband goes into the shed and norman's right there when you open the shed door it's always funny and yeah mm. Okay, I guess people can ride on that side too. And I also punched a little hole. I'm not gonna put a, maybe I'll put a string. I don't know yet. What do I wanna put on this one? Hmm, how about a tiny piece of this? 
Although, no, because it could be difficult to get it in, in the pocket then. So let's just put a little piece of this to ground it. And then we're almost done. We just have to add, uh, glue those pockets on there. Did I put... Nope, I also have to back those. Now I keep checking if I'm still recording. Ah! All right. Well, I guess then my video won't be too long, will it? I've just been sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, my glue is leaking. Ugh. Don't do that. Okay. Still leaking. I gotta open the bottle cap so the air can get out and it can stop leaking. Here we go. Because the air is trying to push out the glue at the top. Okay. I'm gonna let this dry for a moment. Those are cute. And I have a little bit of string, I think. Uh, how about this? Do I like this? Maybe. I got that from my friend Kat in Australia. Um, her and I are actually planning another exchange of goodies. Uh, because it was like too late for, for Christmas. We decided to do a Christmas in July. Oh, an advent calendar. So we're gonna... Um, I don't know yet if we're gonna do 25 packages or for the whole month of July. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna send each other... Uh, a box full of uh, little gifts, like craft stuff for journals, and every day we can open open one. So it's an advent calendar, but because we didn't want to wait until next Christmas, it's like 11 months away, or like December, we decided we're going to do Christmas in July. So I've already uh, been collecting things for her, and um, yeah, she sent me a whole bunch last year, and I want to use it. So here I am using the string she sent me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think that's that looks cute. Okay, let these guys dry. And now we're going to stick these guys on here. Perfect. Yes, I'm up recording. Oh, I could have punched. You know what? I'm going to... Where's my punch? I'm going to take this oh, off again. Oh, crap. Excuse my language. <laughs> um, just going to put a little thing in here. That's the good thing about wet glue. You can still... Okay, now I've got to try to glue it at the exact same spot. Perfect. Oh, I love it. So now when it's once it's dry, I can stick a tag in there. So cute. And then I have to put paper on the back, which reminds me I have to dye some lined paper. I finally found my my notepad again that had um that has the lined paper that I like for dyeing, coffee dyeing. And I also want to dye some of my uh with some of my new food color, food coloring. That I want to experiment with. Oops. Now let's stick this guy on here. Ooh. 
Oops. Yeah. Glue goes on the back, not on the front. Oh, foreign words and phrases. Muy bien. Très bien. Sehr gut. Very good. Okay. We'll let this dry and find some lined paper. Or maybe I'll just use regular. Regular doff coffee dyed doffy kite. Coffee dyed paper. Oh, what do I have here? No, I don't like that. Oh, come on. I guess I'll use this. Okay. Actually got some sunlight here. Even though I'm in the basement, I have two big windows that are like looking out into the onto our backyard I'm right on the ground level um, the windows I mean and <clears throat> at least I get some nice sunshine oops wow I went through this glue fast I guess I've been crafting a lot Whoop. come on go back into your house Ooh. When I worked, still worked at uh, in the office at my job, um, we have like this big office with cubicles and no windows. That made me very depressed. <laughs> um, I need daylight. <clears throat> so that's one reason I like working from home now because I can sit wherever I want by the window in the summer I can work outside because we have um, outlets on the outside of our house wall. So. I can charge my laptop if I have to, and sometimes I sit out on our swing in the backyard, ugh, the backyard, and throw the ball at the ball for our dog because he has a ball addiction. Yeah, it's just lovely. Okay. one down and then cut it out and then we're done and this thing is almost done too I want to make sure that it's all stuck to the card really well and doesn't have any air bubbles Okay, now let's cut these guys out. Oops. Ah! Holy smokes. Okay. And before I make more ephemera, I have to actually check to see how much I've already made. Um, probably still not enough, but I want to know what I need to make. I need more cards, probably more journaling cards. I might make some more of those flippy things that I did in the previous video, or similar to that. Just like um, elements where you can hide little notes. Whoop, yum, 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 my kitties were quite cool. <laughs> Crying, <laughs> crying. Um, yes. And then we, oh, I didn't cut the side. And then I will make some more. You hear my kitty? Okay, she probably wants to sit on the back or sleep on the back of my chair, which is fine as long as she doesn't try to climb onto my desk because she likes to be right on top of everything I'm doing. Meow. Hold on, cat. I 
I've been ordering quite a few things on Etsy and Amazon lately, and every day I'm like hoping that I would get something in the mail. Uh, but yesterday it was only something for my husband because he ordered some stuff for his RC truck. So I'm like, no! <laughs> it's like every day is like, is it for me? Is it for me? Or is it for him? So, yeah. I got a whole bunch of emails from Amazon. Oh, I already did that. I gotta do the backside from Amazon um, that his stuff is being shipped. I'm like, what about my stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got our stimulus money. So I'm trying to use it on um, local small small businesses because I want to support them. Uh, like today at the antique store or antique mall. Um, yeah. I know a lot of people use that money. Of course, some people need it to uh, pay rent and groceries. It's, that's important. But um, I also know a lot of people put it in their savings account. And I thought about that too, because I like saving money. However, um, I want to help the economy because so many small businesses have suffered, especially when they had to be closed. Um, so luckily they are, most of them are open. But a lot of them had to close for good, which is very sad. So, yeah. I'm going to help the guys that are still there. Okay, so I think we are done. Ta -da -da -da. Okay, which one goes where? I think I like it this way. So, little pocket. Zoops. Isn't that cute? I think it's adorable. That idea just came to me while I was working on those cards. So here we go. We got the back. We can um, journal. I might put a stamp on something on there. And then the front looks pretty and has a little tag. And you can journal on the tag as well. Yay! I hope you like the idea. And let me know what you think. And uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate appreciate all of you. And thanks for, to the ladies that always comment. I'm always excited to read your comments. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.